in this problem, we're being asked to translate the graphs of absolute value functions. And what they've given us here is the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. So this is what we call the base function or the mother function. And it makes this V shape with its vertex at 0, 0. The rules here is that if you have a number that's inside the absolute value symbol, a plus or a minus, a plus means move this whole thing to the left, and a minus means move the whole thing to the right. If you have a number that's outside the absolute value symbol, that's going to move it up or down. Positive is up, negative is down. So if we look at this first one, it says translate this graph to get the graph of y equals the absolute value of x plus 5, and that's outside the symbol. So that just means we move the whole thing up 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the vertex now would be at 0, 5. And we can verify that that's right. That point 0, 5 is on the graph now. Let's plug in 0 for x. If we do that, y would be 0 plus 5. y would be 5. And there we are, right there at 0, 5. It's good to check a point uh, after you've done your translation just to see you haven't made a mistake. Let's try this next one. So we'll go back to y equals the absolute value of x. Here, we have a plus 4 inside the absolute value symbol. Plus means left when it's inside the symbol. So we're going to move left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that should put us at negative 4, 0. So let's see if that point, negative 4, 0, fits in our equation. I'll put in negative 4 for x. So we'd get negative 4 plus 4. That would be 0, so y would equal 0. That works, negative 4, 0. So that is how to translate the graph of an absolute value function.